say good morning. Look at you pushing yourself up, Missy. You're getting stronger and stronger every day. You clever girl. Oh, that's a big yawn. Good morning, guys. I don't know what time it is. I think it's sort of seven, eight o'clock. But we're up, aren't we? Doug's just got up and he's going to have a shower um, and get ready. So then whilst I feed Delilah, although she never really wants food at this time of the morning, we're just sitting here and having little chats and she's currently eating my camera strap and then um, Doug will go play with her, have breakfast and stuff whilst I finally get to shower and wash my hair because I didn't get a chance to wash my hair yesterday morning because we got up later than planned. You are cheeky. I think I have Delilah's cold. I have a really bad headache and a really sore throat and at four o'clock this morning I could barely breathe out my nose so I think I've got Delilah's cold. It's just annoying that I've got it whilst we're away. Look at you sitting up. So strong. She's starting to be able to fall forward and actually pull herself up from falling forward now. So I don't think it's going to be long until she's actually sitting up properly by herself. Look at this. <laughs> Mummy needs to charge her battery, doesn't she? I need to get my other battery because we're running out of battery. Can you see on the screen? <gasps> oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill. And he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up or down. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Way! <laughs> Good thing that was a soft scent to fall into. Cattle. Feeling good after a shower and a hair wash. I still feel ill. Um, I kind of have, you know when you've got sort of a head cold and your whole head just feels a bit, mm, and a bit achy from sort of your head to your shoulders and my throat hurts and things. But no, I'm, I'm feeling fresh after my shower. I've then just been washing up a bottle and my pump part so I can pump a little bit of milk. I bought three or four ounces that I pumped yesterday morning with us. So I'm just gonna pump a little bit more now um, so that Delilah has more than enough for when I leave her this evening because this evening we are off to go see Paolo. I'm gonna do this in the bedroom. Pretty sure no one else wants to watch me. If you watched my vlog a couple of days ago, or was it? Mm, hang on, no, let's. Oh, I'm not sure. It was one of the last vlogmases. I mentioned how my hair constantly feels greasy when I wash it, blow dry it, and straighten it. I then have to use dry shampoo on it straight away on clean hair, and I've had to do that since. Well, since I moved into our new flat. So I'm not too sure whether it's um, the water in our flat or whether it was a pregnancy hormonal thing because I got pregnant the month we moved in so I'm not too sure. I've just washed my hair here and my hair feels amazing. So obviously it's something to do with the water because the water is going to be different here. My hair feels all nice and all nice and clean today which is nice. Makes a nice change. I managed to get the coffee out of my t-shirt so I'm gonna wear this today because it's not too cold and then in here I've got some jumpers for the next couple days because today is quite mild and then Saturday and Sunday is gonna be a very cold windy 
couple of days. So um, saving those for the cold days. I need myself some coffee. Where is the coffee? Is this instant? Okay, use this. Because that's filter coffee. I have come into the living room and everyone has disappeared. Doug left this morning try not to spill this dog left this morning about about half eight he took delilah out in the pram just to give him something to do but also alistair their little brother is sleeping in the living room on the futon because um that's just how it's sort of planned out because there's two bedrooms and then a futon in here so um he didn't want to disturb him so he went out and then i am assuming he has gone to the other airbnb where his parents are otherwise i don't really know where he's gone um ben and alistair were in the living room a second ago and they have now disappeared so i don't know where everyone's gone i'm guessing they're all getting ready i am finally ready though for the day i'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my coffee speaking of the devils they have just turned up hello, hello. well i'm ready but everyone seems to have evacuated the building yeah. i don't know where everyone is the wind or muffle the wind out hopefully you can hear me so we are currently walking into town just doug and i the rest of his family are going up along what's it called alpha c well it's um, not alpha c that's the uh the crag um some some crab i think i know they're, they're going they're going up along there i didn't really fancy it well one we've got the crown which probably isn't the best thing to take the pram up there but two i'm just i'm surviving on like three hours sleep every night for the last five months i have a cold i ache i feel horrendous i don't want to exert any more energy than needs be because i don't have any energy to give we're just having a nice stroll down this path <laughs> Delilah is fast asleep and we made it to the bottom of town. We're going to wait for the others to catch up with us before we head into the main part of town. now hence why i've got my hat on lila has been a little bit fussy which i don't blame her it's very windy she's teething she has a cold so doug's carrying her although she's still crying in the carrier nothing if that girl wants to cry she will cry we're by the castle now and if you guys remember our scotland vlogs from about a year and a bit ago <laughs> doug's dad making his appearance video yeah. bombing hi fans <laughs> we went to that building the um Illusions place. Uh, last time we came here, so we might go again. <laughs> Just see Delilah's little feet hanging out the bottom of Doug's coat. <laughs> we have left Doug's parents with the pram, and all five or six of us, including Delilah, we're all going to go to the camera obscura illusions place thingy that we went to last time we were here. This place is called World of Illusions. Camera Obscura is the thing you go to at the top of the building where it's really cool. You like look through this thing and you can see the whole city. 
<laughs> Daddy's little pouch. <laughs> What do I look like on the other side? So it's on the area. Can't really tell when it's on the camera. <laughs> Oh no, I don't. Look at my head. Yep. <laughs> this is a thermal camera. Not got very warm hands. Look at my hands. I told you I've always got cold hands. Look at me. Good bets. No, this isn't. Oh How comes my cheeks are colder? <laughs> Watch me get lost now. No, I don't like this. Oh, I thought that was a mirror. Oh, it's that way then, isn't it? Don't do that way. Don't right. let me lead. I feel like I'm gonna walk into a mirror. <laughs> Finished in there now. It's now time to find some coffee and cake. I'm hungry and I need some caffeine. I Do you want to Do you want to Do you want to that you're very hot and sweaty, aren't you? Yeah. You're very sweaty. You don't care. Not my bag. <laughs> what do you want to do right now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm using my camera strap again. But from the street, you can see straight down to the place, so I imagine it would be fine. It's just gone five, we are back. I need to get Delilah's bottle sorted for tonight because we are going to leave her with her nana. <laughs> Uncle Alistair just walked home. Delilah, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You cried a little bit, didn't you? And then she fell asleep. Look how cute you look. <laughs> so I'm gonna get her bottle ready. She has a couple of bottles of milk in here. Uh, what's annoying is that we're gonna take her round to their Airbnb and she went, oh, well, if you've got enough milk, could just leave her here, leave her there for the night. I don't have enough milk, so I'm just gonna have to have another sleepless night, aren't I? Can you pump now? Can I pump another? We've got three, we've got five, I can't, I don't know if I can pump another five ounces. Three ounces. 
About 10 she, ounces, isn't it? <clears throat> Usually. Yeah, and there's 5 ounces there. 3 and oh, 2 yeah. equals 5. Yeah. yeah. Go on. Get your head me. I don't think I could get 5 ounces out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Plus, we'd be leaving her earlier. Yeah, so she'd need more. It's just not going to happen. Uh, it's really annoying because there's no way of me bringing frozen happen. milk up on the train. Like I could have tried, but it might have defrosted. And if it defrosted, then she would have had to have um, had it before this evening. I'm going to put some slightly warmer clothes on on top of my current clothes because um, we're seeing Paolo Nettini tonight, aren't we? Yeah. Da, 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 so why, don't you, why don't you pump a little bit so when you, when, if there's milk left over at the end, we can bottle feed her and then you can have maybe two glasses of wine. I don't think I can get anything out. <laughs> it's like the evening, I'm, I'll barely get anything out. And then we are then going to pop over to the other Airbnb and have some takeout. fast asleep in her cot and uh, we've had our dinner I got Chinese and we have just arrived at Princess Street Gardens I'm not too sure where we are actually uh, but we are now on our way to the Paolo gig I'm on my own because there were two people that didn't go to the gig with us and that was uh, Melissa's fiance and Doug's dad. We all met them at the pub that they were at but I've left them there because I need to go to bed. I don't know how long they're going to be there, probably not that long but I really need to go to bed. So um, I've left them, I've ordered myself an Uber so I'm just waiting for my Uber now. I pick myself up from McDonald's because I'm still really hungry. I can't believe I've made it back. And I actually recognised the street and was like, that's the house. Because normally I'm awful with navigation. Oh, it's so weird, but nice to just be on my own for a bit. I'm really tired. And part of me thinking, mm, probably shouldn't have got McDonald's. Probably should just take my makeup off and get into bed. But I'm going to have my Mackey D's because knowing me, I'll wake up at four o'clock in the morning and be absolutely starving. I'm going to tuck into my McDonald's, not in the bedroom. I'm going to go into... Um, the kitchen and eat that. Take my makeup off um, and get into bed and just try and get try and get an hour or so in. It depends how long they take. I mean, if they leave the pub now, they'll probably only be half an hour, if that. Although they do have to go back and get Delilah. To be honest, I'll probably get into bed, fall asleep, and then Doug will be back with Delilah by then. Oh well, I might as well go to bed and see what sort of sleep I can get. I'm just turning all the lights on in this place, right? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go because all I'm gonna do is go to bed after I've eaten my food. I hope you're enjoying the vlog so far and I will see you for tomorrow's one. Yes, why can I never end these vlogs properly? Okay, bye bye bye.